Yeah, I, I swear. Like I literally give you guys so much of a countdown <laughs> every time. I know, but we have to be messes. You, I you, feel like, you. I feel like it's our charm, you know. <laughs> is it? So. The intro today is a mess. Ned is burping. I'm eating mint imperials. My mouth is full. I'm sorry. No, we and established that just Ned is not muscle. burping. Ned is not burping. No, Ned, Ned burping. did not did not we, jump Ned, down Ned after is drinking not burping. seltzer. We did not consent to the burp, so Ned is respecting mm-hmm. our boundaries. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes chaos reigns. It's Monday night ish. It's Monday. I, I never know whether to say it's Monday night, it's Monday. Eh. It is some vague time on a Monday. <laughs> and you know what that means. Italians night. Mm-hmm. It's time to torture some teenagers. Yeah. You're watching Going Critical and we're happy to have you. I am joined by my lovely and wonderful cast. Introduce yourselves, guys. Hi. Um... My name's Emily. I'm playing Sam. He is Changeling, Warlock, Sorcerer. Um, I'm an artist. I do comics concept art. And this is my Twitter handle below my lighty. Um, <laughs> was... We didn't decide on one, did we? No, it was the mall. It was the mall. We're doing fun facts. <laughs> Um, and for a fun fact this week is what store our characters would, like, frequent in the mall. Um, and we established, after debate, over Sears and Toy Works and, what was it, Target, Target, that Xanth would specifically steal a lot of random shit from Sears. (laughs) Very good. Mm-hmm. Sorry, uh, I was organizing a cat. <laughs> That's okay. Always organize pets, cats, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, hi, I'm Ned. I play. You can find me on the internet as at the Ned Barnett. Um, and uh, I am a comic book writer and artist and general rap scallion. Um, I play Mon- who is our half elf rogue slash druid? He t- he has been turning into a cat a lot lately, and that's been unexplained. Um, and the store that he would be most likely to hang out at at the mall is the pet store, um, solely because he's casing the joint to figure out how to set all the animals free. Cute. Where are they gonna go? <laughs> Out he has not way. figured that out. This is Monty. He has one thing. He's like, I will do this thing and then not f- <laughs> not actually figure out what he's going to do. I, I feel like those animals might <laughs> might have a... He takes them all home. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Xanth is just <laughs> like, where did... Xanth will just come home and there will just be like animals everywhere and Monty oh, will be like, no. I, love I couldn't leave, leave them there. there. Monty, you gotta watch an episode of Hoarders, bud. Yeah. <laughs> I love in this fake scenario that they also live together. <laughs> like, I was gonna they say- They still currently live together. <laughs> I, I love in this AU that they're still roommates. I appreciate it. Yeah. They will always be roommates. <laughs> We're not even roommates right now. Like, <laughs> I, was there. I, just, I woke up on top of you. <laughs> I don't think we've been to school once. Yeah, I mean, we started at school. Room. We, we, yeah, we started oh, at school. been to class? Oh, we, no. Yeah, not no. class. Oh, yeah, no, we don't go to class. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's not what magic school is. We, we went to class so many times <laughs> before, before Danny we figured us. out what was going on. <laughs> Hi, Danny, I'm, Danny. Danny. I'm, I'm being <laughs> instructed to stop the chaos, uh, which is unfortunate. Um <laughs> I'm a freelance artist. Uh, you can find me on Twitter because honestly, it's the only social media that I can deal with at a time. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much. Yenna is God. Yenna's either in like some bougie like, like you know the Windsor store that's like all the like gowns mm. for like prom and shit. 
<laughs> this is just like year round, they just have these gowns. She's like in that store and then like immediately buys something, puts it on in the store, wanders over to like, uh, they don't have these anymore, but it's like the discovery store where they have like the crystal growing kits and like just other cute science shits. And that's it. That's all she does. New dresses <laughs> and then like, I want a new kit to make a thing. That's it. New dress, new science. The Love only things it. that matter. <laughs> um, hi everybody. I'm Dodger. I'm a streamer, and uh, I'm I'm learning art. <laughs> but uh, I play Yuli, and Yuli's a little rogue wizard. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a a leaflet out of the Monty book because when we were talking about video games, um. Ned was able to say, "Oh, Monty doesn't doesn't play games. No games." Um, I think that Yuli's parent probably read a bunch of articles about uh, electrical cords being left out and overcrowding and people getting trapped in escalator or in elevators and uh, like all sorts of things like that, and just never uh, took her to the mall. I don't think she's ever been in a mall like a proper one. <sighs> This poor thing. <laughs> Not that malls are like the height of civilization or something. But But if this is if this is a world with a mall, I think um yeah. I think we can all safely say at this point that the AU is firmly set at the end of the nineties. I think it feels that way. Yeah, it really feels that way. Uh, oh, oh, the poor thing. Um Look. And, Yeah, I mean <laughs> You just don't want me to get hurt. I get it. It's fine. <laughs> they heard about people like Tink hanging out at the mall. And... <laughs> yeah, exactly. They were like, there's rapscallions there, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I really don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, also, hello. My name is Nick. Um, I am a tattoo artist and D&D shit poster. Um, I'm at Nick Terhorst <laughs> and at Nick Tattoos everywhere. And, uh, yeah, I, oh God, what did I say? I was so confident. Oh, Games Workshop. Games Workshop. Games Workshop. Yeah. That's where Tink hangs out. Uh, it's just little weird shit to build and he loves it. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, and he's a, he's an artificer, which, uh, an artificer cleric, which describes, uh, the things that he needs to build. <laughs> And uh, with all of my cast introduced, I am Jess Taylor. I'm your DM for this evening. I am a comic artist, and uh, that's all you guys need to know. I pull the strings behind the curtain that makes the puppets dance. That was. Are we your puppets? <laughs> No, I meant my NPCs, but that was a little too vague. So, um, anyway. Do we have any announcements this week? A small one. <laughs> then do it. Uh, I got stuff in my shop. <laughs> That's it. Well, you got a shop? Where do we find yes. your shop? Yes, I mean, uh, I like find your yeah. shop. What's the address? Uh, Why didn't I it... know you had a shop? <laughs> <laughs> you know I have a shop. <laughs> I know there were new um, things in it. Uh, barely. Like, there's some stickers and shit. Wow, um, you're really fucking selling this, huh? Really yeah, really does great art, and you should definitely I, I, go like, buy things. so cute. I'm half yeah. selling it, because if I sell it too hard, then I'll have to mail out more orders. Um, <laughs> <laughs> buy the stickers, guys. They are adorable. Thank you. Um, my Super shop cute. is emilypearsonart.com, which is also my website. <laughs> Yeah, go buy things from Emily if you are feel so inclined and support a lovely person. I got one sticker that's a mouse and one that's a turtle. <laughs> Very cute. It's yeah. extremely cute. I've already Thank bought you. mine. Does anybody else have some announcements? No. I ask the class. I think everyone here is great. Wow. I think Nick... Have you sold all of your new flash? Is that gone now? No. No, no, no. So, 
<laughs> what is happening with this group? Tell oh, your oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Have some fucking confidence. This is killing Thank me. you. The, Thank okay. you, Dodger, please. Listen, this is the internet, and my sales are extremely local. So... <laughs> <laughs> as as previously stated, I am a tattoo artist. This is a link to my flash book. I work out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. As I dox myself on the internet because it is a necessity for my job. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I did I did a bunch of new flash um, for one of my friends' um, toy line launches, and I'm also going to grab fashion cats because that makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll have to find it in a bit. I'll post that link in chat as well. So glad for fashion cats because I feel like you can just just say that like, oh hey, it's my butt is making art instead of having to say like, oh hey, it's also me making art. Yeah, I mean, I I have now booked. I need to update the site, but I have booked the the main fashion cats uh flash, and they're staying together, and I'm very happy about it. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. Yeah, Aww. yeah. I'm I'm super stoked. Uh, Ned, didn't you have a book out? Do I have? Oh, I do have a. I have a comic in the Young Men in Love anthology published by Wave Blue World, which is coming out the start of next month. Uh, so I recommend that you all buy it if you want to read comics about really sweet comics about like love stories just surrounding men, and it's really sweet. And my com and my comic is a very like personal story about um, coming out as trans and is illustrated by the amazing um, Ian Bisbal, uh, who is a Spanish artist who is also trans, so it's really great. Um, I think that's this book that we have in, that, that we're referencing because I don't have any other books coming out. Okay, that was, that was the one that I was referencing. Excellent. I was like, do I have a book coming out that I don't know about? Um, oh God, also, my announcement is that I've I have discovered that uh, that five inch inseam shorts are the greatest invention, um, particularly once you've reached a point in your transition where you are a furnace and you are hot all the time. Um, so now I can be eternal, internally hot all the time and externally hot all the time, and Wait, that is my announcement. I was so glad that you did it. I'm <laughs> 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 gonna make a joke about how hot he is. Listen, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Danny, is your store currently open? I'm forcing you not, guys to announce shit now. I'm, it is not open yet. It is in the works. I am trying to build a store. I'm not good at it. Web dev is <laughs> not my shit at all. So oh, uh, we're we're getting help. But yeah, there will be a store specifically for TTRPG type things. I'm going to try to make coasters and dice bags specifically because I think that's Every table, live table, needs coasters. Like, your friends are heathens. It's gonna be a problem. So. Nice, nice, nice. So keep your eyes peeled, and Danny's store will be with us soon. Oogs, do you have anything to announce? No, I'm gonna be gone for the next week, because my brother has the audacity to get married in 2022, so. So rude. <laughs> How are I you? know, Ugh. unbelievable. Um, <laughs> so, and uh, no, what really makes it terrible is that I tried, I tried really hard to make the horse outfit of our dreams that you guys tried to help <laughs> oh, me with. No. And that the shirt, which is truly the crux of the whole outfit, the shirt was not going to be there for another month past their wedding no. day. Oh, so, so I rude. had to give up on that dream, but I still <laughs> bought it so that I can use it at another time. <laughs> So you can right. still have the horse shirt. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try to have horse energy, but I will not have the horse outfit, unfortunately. <laughs> Unrelated to that, I would like to announce that Dugs drew a new Yuli icon that you see so cute. right now. Thanks. She looks so sad. I need to adjust her. <laughs> I mean, especially <laughs> off in our little mopey corner over here. <laughs> like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't help that we're next to each other. Yeah, just looking at each other, concentrated like, sadness. <laughs> oh my god! You may also have noticed that Monty's had a little bit of a costume change now that yes. he's got his clothes back. He's back to being semi goth. Mm -hmm. Am I? Um, yeah. And because I've been directly at it in the chat <laughs> and have ignored it for the last little while, yeah. I have a book out. 
uh, Galaxy of the Prettiest Star is in bookstores near you. It's being sold on every shelf. So, uh, yeah, the link is in the chat right now. It is a cool sci-fi story, and uh, DC's newest trans superhero. So Order your copy, because cool. mine hasn't come in yet. Oh. I got mine. Yeah, it's been selling out like crazy, which is such a brilliant problem to have, but uh, if you want a <laughs> copy, like, I'd, I'd snap it now. <laughs> um, on top of that, I also drew a Doctor Who cover that is up for pre-order at the moment, and it's uh, Doctor Who, The Fugitive Doctor, Issue 4. So keep your eyes peeled for that one, too. Awesome. Anyway, now that we've done all of those very, very wonderful intros, ta-da! it's time to get to the game. Yay. Yay. So just a few caveats before we begin. Hellions of Karnak is a live play TTRPG D&D 5e game, which we use theater of the mind and some visual aids, as you can see in front of you. We do practice safe streaming, <laughs> in which we have safety methods that we use at home if any of us are uncomfortable, but we encourage you guys watching. If you need to step away from the, stre from the stream, if anything makes you uncomfortable at all, or if anything is um, too much to deal with, or you just feel like you can't sit through a scene, please don't feel obligated to. We would much rather that you take a moment away if you need to, and stay safe. We have a Discord channel where you can get in contact with us and talk with other viewers and ourselves if you feel that you need to, you can even bring scenes, certain scenes to our attention as well mm -hmm. so that we can be made aware of any problems. Um, it is also a mature stream, mainly because I swear a lot, So, but we will be handling mature themes um, such as like sexuality, drugs... Sex, sex drugs, and rock and roll! roll. <laughs> I prefer your okay. version to uh, my my grim version. Yeah, let's <laughs> go with that. Now, as we dive on into the game, the last time on Hellions of Karnak. Trapped in a dream, Xanth, Yuli, Yenna, and Monty found themselves in Babel, the land beyond the mirrors. On the rooftops of the city, they were faced with five strange figures wearing gold skulls, one, the aspect of the cat, gave the Hellions a crystal skull each with the promise that they'd work as sending stones before telling them to watch as another far-off figure sent a shockwave through Babel. On the street, Monty and Xanth found familiar figures frozen in dioramas of daily life as magic swept through them. On waking, the Hellions found themselves face to face with two brand new bodyguards assigned by Captain Nyota, Privates Hans and Fury. On the other side of town, Yen awoke in the embassies, only to find that help for her situation was rather reluctant. Marching through the building, she found herself face to face with the ambassador's son in an abandoned office, and confronting him ended up with the man revealing he'd been using a glamour. And Yenna, in a panic, shut the door in his face. Yenna, around you, right this instant, Alarms have started going off. The lights in the halls have all turned to a sickly red, and in far-off corridors you can hear <coughs> that's just, like, rocketing through. Oh Apparently God. the alarm system is a cat. Uh <laughs> <laughs> alarm system is really cute. <laughs> but that, that's all that you can hear, along with the distant voices of guards and footfalls. Okay, okay. I want you to roll me a perception check. Okay, okay. There's no wisdom. Perception checks are real easy. Just a zero. <laughs> Excuse me. It's like a five at d20. There we go. Uh, <laughs> seven. A seven? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's great. As far as you're aware, you have an intruder locked in a room in front of you. An alarm system is going off. What do you want to do? Um, honestly, Yenna doesn't think she's done anything wrong. She's clearly caught an intruder. So, yeah, mm -hmm. she's just going to stand there and wait for guards to show up. 
Okay, all right. It doesn't take long. Mm -hmm. About a... About ten guards turn the corners, each in their uniforms. And you see that they are also heavily armed. The most dangerous of which are probably the ones who don't look to be heavily armed, but are definitely casters. Mm -hmm. One of them, with their hand upon the sword, comes towards you and is like, declare yourself. Uh, she already has her ID out, I believe, from last time, from pulling it out in an attempt yes, to she would. talk to this idiot. And so she has it out, and she holds it up, and she's like, Hi, I am Monyana. I am looking for the, uh, wh what are the rooms called? Conference rooms? I don't know. Um, communication <laughs> rooms. Yes, they, they were called the communication rooms. Yeah. Conference rooms would have been such a better name, and we should call them that now. <laughs> Um, you see that the guard takes the piece of paper from you and reads it over and immediately gives a small incline of a bow towards you. Lady Mun passes back your ID. It is highly irregular to find somebody within the embassies without a guard. Well, I was left alone in a reception area where I fell asleep on a sofa waiting for someone to assist me. You see that this person's brow kind of twitches as though they are irritated at this entire happening, and it possibly isn't the first time that this has happened. And they kind of ease just a little bit and like, our magical alarms in this sector were tripped. Is there any possible reason that you can think of, revered lady, that this would have happened? It was probably me. I did slam that door a little bit hard in my frustration. And did you happen to cast any magic upon it? Um, I did. I did cast an arcane lock on it because I can't win, you know, trying to find my way through this place, which is um, a labyrinth. And um, what I happened to find was I just walked into the ambassador's office, I think. Like, what kind of security do you guys have here? Usually much better than this, I assure you. And there's like a glower passed from this person who you're speaking to back towards the team that's with them, and you see two of them scurry off in what appears to be panic. You get the impression that this definitely shouldn't have happened. Who and would like may to I ask? Me? Revered Lady Moon, I must first ask. Why you cast an arcane lock on the ambassador's office? Didn't want anyone else to wander in. Obviously, I have no reason to rifle through his things. I am afraid, my lady, that we must ask you to come to security, just because we will need to file an incident report about this. She's just going to roll her eyes and be like, all right, but I do believe I have a call waiting, so um, the longer this takes, the longer my mother is on hold. Then it is perhaps a good thing that security is on the way to the conference rooms. And you see that the guard that you're talking to extends an arm and is like, I would be honored to escort you myself. He just sort of smiles. And like, how tall is this person? Like, how ridiculous does this look? This little three foot <laughs> child. <laughs> um, you, you are talking to like six foot five tiefling. Okay. Fine. Uh, she is going. Who is probably her. seven foot with the horns? Do I have levitate prepared? Oh, I don't. So she's gonna cast tensor slitting disc and sit on it, and then like basically like hover up. Very and classy. Like... And so now he has to like basically pull her. <laughs> you know. He, he kind of loops his arm with hers and shows no hesitation at all at, at starting to pull the disc along. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. as, as you're walking, he does say, I will make sure that this situation is rectified within the best of my abilities. Wonderful. I sincerely apologize that you were caught up in it. It's just, 
I'm very frustrated. I know it's not your fault. I'm just, you know, I was expecting a little more expedience because I did come in saying that I had an emergency where I needed things expedited. And just, this is very slow. I'm afraid that you must have caught the embassies on a bad day. We do generally swap over for the weekend staff. And unfortunately, it isn't always as smooth as we wish it would be. Mm -hmm. I will bring this towards the director themselves. Wonderful. Anyways. So you just sort of like sitting like lotus position on her little desk. And it's just like. <sighs> Is there anybody that you would like us to contact other than the person that you have waiting in the conference room? Mm. Uh, if you can send a courier to. Um, Find. I forgot Balthazar's last name. Fuck. Balthazar Klein. Klein. Uh, to find Professor Klein, that'd be really great. And just tell him where I'm at. I shall send a runner out as soon as we have your statement. Yes, I've been gone and... way longer than anticipated, and I don't want him to worry. An understandable situation and he guides you into a small side room and you can see that there are two guards kind of bickering over who gets the last pastry along with a bunch of morning coffee mm -hmm. um and he leads you past them and into a small private office okay. and touches a glowing crystal on the desk it's like if you would please give a statement to the crystal as to what happened and Precisely how you remember the events occurring. Alright. Um, for a lack of not being able to RP very well at the moment, can I just describe what she says? You can. Is Yenna going to lie and deceive? Uh, she is going to give a pretty accurate statement, like, up until the office thing, in which she's going to have basically said she walked in there, was annoyed, um, you know, looked around herself. Like, she's basically implicating herself in the, like, rummaging around slightly, and that, but not, like, taking anything. And then was just, like, irritated and, like, slammed the door and locked it because she's like these idiots. Okay, in which case, I would like you to roll a deception, please. Sure. That's a good eight. Yeah. Oh, no. Fantastic. <laughs> I need you to make, I need you to make a wisdom save. <gasps> cool. I'm zone and truth, I'm assuming. On a failed deception check, yes, you have been zone of truth by the crystal. Cool. Uh, but, 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 19 total. 19 total? Yep. With a 19, you feel a compulsion to tell the truth. However, you are able to fight back against it and continue telling your story. You do, however, notice that the crystal has changed colour. And you see the guard across from you sits down and his fingers kind of steeple against the desk. Would you like to try that again without a lie, revered lady? Do you see uh, a little bit more of the, like, crocodile tears sort of thing? And she's mostly going to start revising the story, and it's going to be like, she got scared, basically, and so she she's not sure exactly what happened, but she was scared and lost, and so she panicked, and that's And it's still a deception. I would like you to do a deception check and a performance check for me. Yeah, absolutely. For the tears. Sure. Uh, which one would you like first? 
Does it matter which one? Um, it doesn't matter which one comes first. Okay. Uh, deception is a 17. Mm-hmm. And performance is... Ooh, not bad. Uh, performance is a 19. Okay, you see him reach over and he taps the crystal and it lies dormant against the wood. And he just leans forward a bit and is like, I understand that this must all be quite stressful for you, revered lady, especially if you found yourself so afraid. However, I really must encourage you to tell the truth. I shan't record what happened. But if there's been an intruder of any kind upon these premises other than yourself, we need to figure out what has happened so that we can close any holes in our defenses. Any My words you left un you leave unsaid could hurt people. I, I might have seen something. I don't know. It's It's been a very stressful time. My clothes, my school is about to sh shut down, and now I am just very stressed because um, I am here sort of under duress. It's just, I, I really, really just want to talk to my mom. And so I just, I don't know what I saw. I just saw something and it scared me and I ran out of the room. Yana? Mm-hmm. I want you to roll me a history check as sure. you are like saying you saw something and talking about what you saw kind of makes you think about what happened in that room. Sure. Uh, history uh, 21. You realize belatedly that the face that you saw frozen in horror as you slammed that door shut and locked it Mm -hmm. was actually kind of familiar around the edges. Mm -hmm. It's a face that you've known most of your life and you immediately start to realize that the person that you've just locked in that room to be found possibly by the rest of the guard is none other than Hyunwoo who is or was before you left home person you were betrothed to oh my uh, gosh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at which point i think yenna just starts actually crying like in earnest when you start crying in earnest you see a very awkward look kind of comes over the guard's face and uh just reaches out to rest a hand against yenna's shoulder and it's like I'll see if we can get your honoured mother on the phone, on the line. And, uh, immediately exits stage right to try see and right see there. if they can rectify the situation. Before they leave, though, you do notice that they have pushed, like, a little box of tissues towards you. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. She's probably got, like, one just pushed up against each of the eye. And it's just like, oh god. <laughs> Trying to save her mascara from last night. Yeah. No, <laughs> not even. I'm just like, <laughs> baby's gonna be a mess. It's gonna look, come back looking like a raccoon. Oh. Um, yeah. She's freaking out, because that that is genuinely the worst possible thing. Like, her whole thought was like, Whatever espionage is happening, that's not my problem. But now it's, oh god, it's somebody that I might care about. Like, a lot. Oh no. Across town. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. In a little hotel room. I say little. It's an entire floor. In a little pence <laughs> penthouse hotel room. Just In a little penthouse little... hotel room that yeah. has... It's it's so homey with its own uh, swimming pool shaped bath. Um, what are you all doing? You have finally have access to your things. You have currently been placed under guard by two private <laughs> Hans and Fury. 
Oh, what time is it? It's getting towards mid morning at this point. It's like eleven o'clock in the morning. It's almost lunchtime. I don't know my days. Um Yenna hasn't come back yet. Um I but think Yuli's kinda sorta heard from her, no? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Via the notes, yes. With my book, yeah. Yeah. Um Yuli, would you have said that to the to the others? Yeah, yeah. I like assuming that we had a moment to sort of chat, I think Yuli would have said like I've been uh we have the uh the the books. She'll look at Tink because Tink was with us when we bought them. <laughs> we have the, the books that um that uh I can write to her and then she can write back and I see what she anyways, it doesn't matter. Um uh I've I heard from her this morning. She's just she's kind of stuck. She's trying to get something done, I guess. Right. Okay. Um I think if we've had the opportunity to like stash a few things in our rooms that kind of thing tank's not moving all of his shit it's too heavy it's too much stuff there's a reason he doesn't move things um, he has like half an alchemy lab in his room that these poor people dragged over uh he is gonna try and like talk to yuli off to the side at some point mm. um I don't know what other folks are have planned. Monty, Zanth, is there anything in particular that you're Boys. doing? <laughs> Boys. I would like to I would like to call the cat aspect on the Rocky Talkie. So soon. So soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can definitely do that. Would you like to do it in the lounge with everybody, or are you going to try and uh, do it more privately? I'm going to try to do it more privately. Um, in that, I'm going to head to uh, head to Monty's aunt's room, um, and like sit down on uh, sit down on the bed that I did not sleep in last night because I was a cat, uh, <laughs> and uh, and and. See if I can get it to get it to work. Yeah, wait, sorry, just to make sure that I know what's going on. Are they going through our rooms? Or no? As in Hans and Fury? Yes. They're helping to unpack what they've brought over. Right, but they're not your like rooms, looking, your not rooms. Your rooms at the Lyceum have already been gone through. Okay. Um, they are unpacking things for you. Oh, Tink has so immediately they... told them to stop. <laughs> yeah, Monty's just like grabbed his bags and. Like... If there, I was gonna say, if there is something you do not want them to see in those bags, you can stop them. Um, but they have packed those bags. <laughs> right, they've seen it all. I just anyway. don't, yeah. Them, yeah. I just don't want them like in my stuff anymore. It's like, yeah, no. like nothing that I want that I'm hiding from them. I just want them to get their hands off my stuff. A hundred percent. Tink Tink is exactly the same. Just like you have touched my things enough. That's fine. <laughs> they will live where they live and I will deal with it. I don't think Yuli would care about them touching her stuff, but it would be more like Oh my god, you don't you don't have to unpack it. I can unpack it. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is there anything that you are looking for in specific to keep out of their hands? Like any any of us? No. Yes. Just Not just no, they, they... like snatch things out of their hands like you don't know how to how to touch this, you don't know how to put it down. Uh, some of these are volatile chemicals. You're just like just leave just leave it. Just leave it alone. Just don't touch it. You've touched it enough. You've done enough things. <laughs> I mean, my dagger is on me, right? Because I think everything I own that's worth anything is literally on me. <laughs> yeah, Zanz is the smallest, saddest bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. It's like the school pamphlet. <laughs> that's it. You get the impression that Private Hands is 
okay with you guys doing whatever you want to with your things as he's just kind of flopped over the chaise and refused to move. Hmm. Fury is kind of looking <clears throat> as though she's at a loose end because you're not letting her help. We were, we were ordered to, we're supposed to help. You, we, you've helped. <laughs> You you've we're helped. Good. You brought us our stuff. We can we can unpack our stuff. Oh, bringing can... it bringing it over was nothing really. Um, I don't want that one messing with the chemicals that very much exploded when we were packing things. Oh no! He them all the time. He's literally it's He's... it's not a big deal. I understand I, that. I mean, but I just things explode here. You do realize that there are civilians around, right? It's not and gonna explode gold that bad. Kettle, and they can. And he can pay for it to go, for the trouble to go away. It's not going to be that bad. <laughs> no one's, I, I'm sorry, that bad? What? There might be some mild fires, but I, I honestly don't think that yeah, we have much to worry talking, about. Stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. <laughs> Tate, Tate has his mouth open as Yuli is like, stop talking. <laughs> We have, we have more to worry it. about with with, with Zayas and Wild Magic than with taking that's, explosives. That's uncalled for. <laughs> I mean, he's right. Am I wrong, though? I can't help it. <laughs> that's, Call me old-fashioned, but any explosion is too much explosion. I mean, I yeah. don't really think it's, like, it's fine. Nothing Listen, else been, is going to explode. On, I've been caught in explosions plenty of times, and look at me, I'm fine. And of course, Monty just has no eyebrows, and his hair is, <laughs> is a mess. He is not fine, uh, but it's it's okay. Uh, so um, I, think, uh, I I think they're really like giving the impression that they uh, have no intention of keeping explosions from happening, which is not the case, right? <laughs> to look We're at not all going the boys. to actively try to make explosions. Stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. Wait, you so, just asked the um, so uh, everything is fine. No explosions are going to happen. Tink is a professional and knows what to do with his stuff. And um, Xanth is fine. And so is Monty. And, and, and everything's fine and nothing's going to blow up. Okay. Are you yes. sure? I'm positive. I, yes, I'm, I'm very positive. Pushes up glasses. Look. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, Private Hands has found the mini bar and is starting to mix a cocktail. Oh, They've restocked them. it since yesterday. I love it. They have restocked it since yesterday, and he is just Ooh. very resolutely emptying several Santa's bottles gonna... into a, a glass. Santa's going to go over and try to get two tables. <laughs> Are you, are you old enough to drink? Fury says as you like head towards that. I, you, you're all very difficult to keep under thumb. Literally, then we don't, don't even need try. you here. Yeah, we're not gonna. You said, oh, we can break the law if we want, but then you're like, it's it's awfully caught behavior I mean, of you, you that can... you're exhibiting right now. <laughs> I am I am a okay with you breaking the law a little bit, but explosions is a little lot. And I'm not going to blow anything up. The only reason anything blew up is because you guys didn't know what you were doing. You see, Private Hands is at this point, like, mixing it all together with a little stirry stick. And it's just like, personally, I take it highly offensive that um, you don't think that we know what we're doing. He's been through a lot, but I also don't think you know what you're doing. <laughs> it takes a drink. <laughs> Do you say Xanth uh, takes his drink? <laughs> or his yeah, right, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like that's better. The audacity of this uh, boy. <laughs> I, don't, I was I was about to drink that. Um if you could Thank you. Is there still like No problem. Oh, you you, you enjoy. And he starts well, mixing another one. Yeah, and, and Tink while is gonna... all this is going on. I was just gonna say, uh, while while everyone else is distracted, this is when Monty just like sneaks, slips out of the room uh, to go and try and contact the cat guy. But we will okay. return to what Tink is doing first. Oh, yes. I I was just gonna say, as Tink brings like a couple things into his room, he's just gonna look at Hans and be like, "By the way, this is all in your general's tab, so you probably don't want Neo to find out about this." <laughs> 
ah, uh, that is probably a good cause. And he's like digging out several more because you've said that now. <laughs> yeah. If this is on the general's tab, you get the impression he's going to spend oh. the general's money. Yeah. Oh, nice. He's like tucking little bottles into the pockets in his uniform and everything. Oh my god. Tink just snorts. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yuli will take the dolly that she conjured and use it to bring her box that's probably just filled with books to her room. Are you are you sure that you don't need any help with that? I mean, I'm very happy to. Mm. You don't have any explosives in there, do you? Um, you 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 packed it, right? Did you find explosives in my room? I mean, in all honesty, Hans packed your things, so therefore I I I didn't see anything, but I don't really think that he'd flag it if you did. <laughs> Yuli looks nervous like she might have somehow forgotten an explosive in her room somehow. <laughs> Tink, Tink just like looks at Yuli like, I'm I'm pretty sure if there was an explosive in your room, I'd know about it. And I don't think there is. <laughs> As though he senses explosives from afar. <laughs> right. As though mm, the only no. place that she would have gotten anything that explodes would have been from him. <laughs> from him, yeah. Um, Yuli will take pity on Fury and be like, if you feel better doing something, if, if you feel uncomfortable just like watching us do things, I mean, you can help me unpack books. They're just books, though. I love alphabetizing when I put them on the shelf. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's great. Oh, good. <laughs> you get like you get the sense of like relief that she's not just standing <laughs> around in a corner, but also not standing around in a corner having to listen to Hans. Right. Mm. So cute. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We love them. We love both of them. Our kids hate them. <laughs> this is a problem. Yeah. No, that's not true. <laughs> Why he just doesn't want anyone touching his stuff? I mean, same. <laughs> Things explode. Mon <laughs> Monty, you want to try and contact the cat? Yes. We want to try to contact Mittens. You guys are adamant. Um, <laughs> to anyone watching, the aspect of the cat is not Mittens. It says you. Mittens. Uh, but everybody seems to believe it. Mittens it is. is the tiger, and when Xanth tried to read the tiger's mind, uh, the tiger had the aspect next mind um i almost went crazy again so i feel like you know like it's it's a good vibe <laughs> all right so you're sitting in the room that you share with xanth mm -hmm. with the Why small we... crystal skull can i not share a room with monty if we have a whole fucking like i have asked, <laughs> so asked you if i could share a room and you said yes <laughs> okay i take it back then <laughs> it's in our play by post <laughs> oh that's true i can okay. find it <laughs> <laughs> when you have the proof that someone agreed to be a roommate in writing and bring it up in the middle of the D, &D game okay mm -hmm. Xanth, do you want to be present for this call? Uh, I don't know, do I? <laughs> That's the question. Um, right now, your choices of company are Private Fury or Monty. And alcohol. Um, I, I don't know if I even would have seen Monty sneak away, if I'm being honest, because Monty is very... Completely fair. Yeah. Monty, boy. do you want to do I a quick stealth if you want to sneak? Yeah, roll for yeah. sneak. Do I roll perception? Yes, you roll perception. Is it my passive or am I actively like? I don't know if I'm actively looking out. What's your passive? It's real bad. It's ten. <laughs> oh, roll for it. I'm okay. not gonna make you like. Yeah, that's a bad passive. <laughs> <laughs> I got a twenty-five. Oh, it was almost a natural twenty. <laughs> it's a fourteen. Yeah, you don't see Monty. I'm sorry. Like, your only company are Hans, Fury, and alcohol. 
Nice, just how I want it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Monty, you're sitting with this small cat skull. Mm-hmm. Cradled in your hands. What are you going to do? Yeah. Uh... I'm going to pick it up. Gonna, Hello? <laughs> how, does, how does this work? Aspect of cat? It's Monty? Are you there, cat god? It's me, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. waiting I was it. waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I want to call the cat god so I can make this joke, among other things, but that was a big part. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, hello? Silence. Um, I mean, I'm gonna assume that this works like... Does this work like a normal sending stone? Um, I'm gonna. Can I do a new? Wait, would, would be would be investigation to see if it works like a normal. It would be an or... arcana. I'll do an arcana. Okay. I'm not good at arcana, but I'll do one. That's a twelve. You are not good at arcana. Okay. Um, as far as you can tell, it should work like a normal sending stone. That's the impression that you'd all got on the top of the roof. Um, I mean, I think I'm just, he's just going to like start talking to the rock. He's going to put the, his, his, his rock and the, the cat skull rock like next to each other. And he's just going to like, they immediately uh, start humming like a high pitched noise starts yeah. coming from both of them. How far apart do you put them? Uh, they're like, like a, like two inches apart. They're like right next to each other on a on oh on a table. the the cat skull flies off the table. It goes and on the on the floor. Monty's just gonna go and get the cat skull and put it back, still like slightly farther away. Uh, it still like shakes six... off the table. Motherfucker, how does this? How does this work? And he's just like sitting, trying to like get them both on the like on the table together, but not like and it, so they don't repel each other away. When you finally get them about two feet apart from each other, they stop trying to push each other away, mm -hmm. and you you kind of feel that there is a weird resistance if you try and push them closer, hmm. like two magnets repelling each other. That humming, though, is still there. Roll me perception. Let me just check what my perception addy thingy is. That is a 16. There's a door in your room that wasn't there before. Oh no, god fucking damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna go through the door. I'm going to pick both these things up and go through the door, putting them in opposite pockets. The moment that you pick them up and put them in opposite pockets, the door disappears. Okay, I'm putting put them back to where they were. Mm -hmm. is, is, the, is the door back? Yeah, the door's back. I'm going through the door. You open the door and step through. And as you step through... All of the others, Xanth, Yena, Yuli, Tink, the, well, Tink, you haven't been given yours yet, but Xanth, Yena, Yuli, the cat skulls that you were given, start humming a high-pitched noise. Um, really gonna... loudly, almost, <laughs> like, irritatingly loud. Are Yuli and Tink still <laughs> around? <laughs> Yuli's in the in the room, uh, putting books away with fury. I think the second it starts, Yuli will start to panic and try to like match the pitch. <laughs> 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 I'd be like, I'm, 
practicing my singing. I have to go by. <laughs> Try to find somebody else. Oh my god. I think Tink just like sees Yuli like burst out of the room. It's like, what is going on? And looks like he's like annoyed at like some kind of like noise. (laughs) But cannot figure out where it's coming from. The moment that you two step into the main room. I'm singing a a very lovely tune. Come on, let's go. Yuli, I need you to roll deception. Oh my god. Oh can, god. Can Tink assist? <laughs> How is Tink assisting? As as soon as he sees I'm... Yuli being weird, he knows something's up. <laughs> Let's be real. We know we know we've got a lot of shit to hide. Um and I, I think he was just like, right, it's t- it's time to practice. Let's let's get to my room. Okay, let's 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 go to my room. <laughs> Okay, you have advantage on the deception <laughs> <Yes>. roll. <laughs> with, ad- with advantage, I got a nine. Oh my you, have, you have an inspiration. You have an inspiration. You oh my god. Just, How much yeah, does so that much give just, me? That's D8. a D8. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, 15. Oh. A 15? Yes. With a 15, like, Hans is giving you the weirdest look, but doesn't do anything to, like, investigate. He's obviously like, this is strange. And then you see Hans's eyebrows just raise, and they're like, oh, they must be fucking. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> like, that's, that's the look that passes across Hans's face. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, great. They don't we... audibly say they must be fucking, right? Like, that's not <laughs> something that comes out of their mouth. Oh, Jess? They must be fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zip just yeah, gives it comes him, out. Like... It comes out loud. <laughs> Zip gives him, like, the flattest fucking look. Like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Oh my god. Tinkle messaged Xanth and be like, just go with it. <laughs> it's like, oh, they have to. <laughs> um, yeah, once Xanth, assuming you that we are also humming. Are you going? I don't I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> I mean you can go in your room and then he'll just think you and Monty are fucking. It's fine. Oh god. <laughs> Um, I think he's just gonna take out the stones and look at them, kind of like maybe not in like turning his back a little to uh Tom. This is a very audible noise. Yeah. Like... Master of subtlety, Xanth. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason yep. I came out of my room screeching and pretending that I was making the noise. <laughs> like, it's, it's literally a high pitch. Just very present and very loud and very long. It doesn't stop. Uh, I'm just gonna slowly back up to the room that you land. Like, take, he's just like, I'm not. I'm not. Just, just get in here. For- Listen, just get in here. <laughs> <laughs> just like pulls I'm him in the room. T- and as as you're being pulled in the room, you just hear, "Yes, vive le polyamory." Fucking Hans. I love them. I know. You guys are now in Tink's room. The stones are still humming that high pitched buzzing noise. I think. Didn't I think I had Tink's? One no, of I you, I, one of you has I, tanks. He doesn't. Have I think those. I have. Oh, is it you? Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> before we dive in, though, Yenna, this is happening to you in the middle of the guard room. Oh, that's. G- mm. mm-hmm. Can prestidigitation stop a sound? I. You can try. You could press to digitate another sound to block out that sound yeah. or cover it up. Yeah, I'm. I don't know that she's got many good answers other than holding that and being like, "What the fuck is happening?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's that's... busy freaking out. So, 
that's this is highly irregular. Um, the captain of the guard isn't in the room with you at the moment because mm-hmm. they did leave. Yeah. That high pitched humming is happening. I would like you to roll me a perception. Okay. Uh, not great. Six. Okay. All right. I need you to make a dexterity save. Great. Oh, God. Uh, 18? 18? Yeah. You hadn't noticed when the air vent above you had started, like, rattling. But you do notice when the brick, that is the ventilation brick, falls to the ground. And you definitely notice, as you manage to move out the way of it, that someone follows it. And is like, I know that you were panicked before, but we probably need to... Holy fuck, what is that? And Hyunwoo is in front of you. <laughs> looking incredibly dusty. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. And she's just going to look at him, look at the thing. And, oh my god, she's probably going to get on the sending zone and be like, Guys? <laughs> what? My stone is ringing, question mark? You can both just hear high-pitched more through the sending stone. Oh god, is it getting, like, feedback? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you're getting feedback. (laughs) You can still hear each other, but there's definite feedback coming through with it. Is is too. Do you want to come back? (laughs) Uh, Fuck, yeah, I didn't get any of my shit done. Fuck. I'm bringing your friend. What? Just, what? You, uh, There's guards here, just so you know. When you ca- to have a good reason, that's all. Not for us. For yeah, like, they're, they're they're nice though. Uh-huh. They're all right. Okay. They work for my brother. They're fine. Yenna is just like angrily, like she shoves it into like whatever bag she has, like as far into it as possible to try to like muffle it in like a handkerchief or something. Just it- to be like doesn't work i can tell you that now and she's just like, like shit 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 <clears throat> um at which point she just looks at him and is like what the fuck are you doing here well i couldn't i mean look it just wouldn't have sit right with me to let you be abducted by them regardless of the fact that i have questions so why would i get abducted I don't know. They took you. You locked me in a room. She's just gonna no, use in her hindsight, hands to like fix the sense. vent. And just be like, that can't happen. That can't be a thing that's happened. She presses and saves him, so he's not dusty anymore. It's like, okay, that can't happen. Okay, okay, okay. They did. They did take you know, me. It's, it's polite to ask a person before you just press to digitate them. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> We're leaving! Right now! Okay, how? In case you hadn't noticed, there's guards out there. I Uh, I crawled over the top of them. There's about three. Yeah, she puts. uh, Is there like a window out of the door or whatever? There is a window. Cool. It's not out of the door. Mm hmm. Is to the outside. It's barred, though. Wonderful. We're gonna use two Vorpal Warps to move us 90 feet. Or, let me double check that. It's 90 feet range. Mm -hmm. Uh, How far can I move people? Uh, see within range. Okay, yeah, 90 feet. So, uh, yeah. Him first, then me. (laughs) Alright. You move him. Mm-hmm. And he immediately starts yelling about consent with moving somebody without their permission. Uh huh. Yeah, I bet. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. And you feel the weave push you towards where you want to be. You are now in the courtyard of the embassies. Okay, we're we're leaving, and she just like grabs him. He is much taller than her, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's about 5'10". Yeah, she's just grabbing, like, just 
whatever's reasonable in reach, probably not his hand because she does not want to hold his hand. She just grabs like a side of his like jacket and is just pulling him. <laughs> as as you're pulling him and he's trying to stumble like in line with you, he eventually just gives up and he tugs on one of your wings and is like, "We're not going out the front door," and starts bringing you around the outside of the building. He's like, "That's an easy way to get caught by the guards. If we get caught by the guards again, we'll be back inside." <laughs> she's just like making like noises she's never been more frustrated in her entire life like that was a neat little teleportation trick think you can do it here and he drags you to what is a perimeter of the embassy uh -huh. and you see that there's like iron railings surrounding it but you can see through to the other side which is the street she's just gonna look at him and be like, no, I used it to get us outside of a building. What can you do? Okay. Can you do well, things? Um, I can. Do I have permission to give you a boost? Mm. Yes. And he kneels and kind of holds out his hands cupped so that Yenna can use them as a boost. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, she'll she'll take take that and Sort of like tucks her wings in. She's like, "Don't touch my wings." I'm sorry, Alu. And he kind of just <laughs> stands, and Yenna, it, it, it's, it's the tallest Yenna has ever been. <laughs> and he boosts her up and over. Yeah. And there yeah. is like a grip that you can get on the guardrail to pull yourself over if you want to. It's quite sharp, so if you can give me a sleight of hand check just to make sure that you don't incur any damage going over. Sure. Uh, sleight of hand is a uh, 15. 15? Yep, you're fine. No problem at all. And you see that Hyunwoo just takes a running jump at it and then scrabbles over the top, gets his jacket stuck twice, and then leaves it behind and just drops. She uses mage hand to go and get the fucking jacket. That's rather clever. I should learn that. And he takes it. And drapes it back around her shoulders and is like, we should probably run. Yeah. No, Do you have okay. you have somewhere to run to? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, just more like angry, like growling sounds, and she <laughs> like, what do I fucking do? Like this fucking idiot. <sighs> um. But yeah. So uh, she will just again just grabs like a piece of his clothing and just starts hauling him as she's like looks for a carriage to flag down to, like, get them the fuck away from this place. He's doing this, like, awkward jog and misstep to try and both keep up with you and not overtake you at the same time. Because like he like, hasn't got a clue what he's doing. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> can I has carriage, please? You can indeed has carriage. There are several you. that you can flag down. Do yeah. you want a fancy one? Um, honestly... I'm gonna roll an intelligence check. Is she s no wisdom? She's smart enough to figure out that they need to be inconspicuous. Nope, she's not fancy. It is. <laughs> that was fancy. It is free. There is a fantastic carriage with some of the best horses that you have ever seen. One of which seems to have a draconic li lineage to it, like. It's just got shining gold scales down its spine. Um, mm -hmm. And the carriage itself is decorated in gold and what appears to be like enamel and pieces of jade and precious stones. And you hop in the back and it's all okay. velvet interior. And Hyunwoo looks both immediately relieved and immediately worried. She's just gonna plop down and she's like, can we go to the, the fucking Marriott Hotel? Mm. To the driver. And the driver tips their hat and goes, all right, you are, and cracks the reins and you're off. All right. Just... It is <laughs> still humming, by the way, yeah, through all I know. of this. <laughs> yeah, okay. so she's just like, head in her hands, like, trying to, like, think and is just like, oh my god. It's okay. You can breathe now. We've got a second. It's literally not okay. I mean, the immediate situation, we are not currently, this present moment, 
in danger, and I think that's all that we can ask for right now, considering. She's just looking at him incredulously, like, yeah, and in about, like, 20 minutes, all the shit is going to hit the fan. I don't know what this is. Why are you here? Well, I mean, ostensibly, if you are Yenamun, then I'm looking for you. He's just, like, looking at him like, what? What, what the fucking... Who do you think I... How do you not know that this is what I look like now? Uh, probably because your family has been keeping it very hush-hush. It's just like, eye twitches, just like... <sighs> okay, okay. That makes sense. On a certain level, but at... Your family doesn't even know? You see, he shakes his head and he kind of settles back into his seat, like, just sighing. All that we were told was that you'd been sent away and they wouldn't tell us anything else. And that our arrangement was off. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I don't like not knowing where the people I care about are. Making a face. Like, uh, uh. not knowing where they've been sent, possibly against their will? Yeah, that's better. That's better phrasing. Uh, 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 okay. So it, so it is off. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't have to be. Uh, uh, hmm. uh, I mean, I feel like it does that's kind of how it works i mean marriage i mean it doesn't what look my family is perfectly happy to still have the arrangement go ahead it's your family that's called it off i'm sure we can come to some sort of arrangement i mean Yeah, about that. Like, I, I. <sighs> Look, I'm not good at politics. That's your family's side of things. Yeah, exactly. They, they that's not gonna be. I don't think I'm getting married to anybody. Politics. Oh. Oh. I don't think that's an option for me anymore. I mean, that's a bit shit. Have you met my mom? Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, between you and me, not a fan. <laughs> that's sort of mm -hmm. irrelevant. Just, like... Mm. <laughs> so where are we going? <sighs> um... Well, God, we're gonna meet my friends, I guess. All together. Oh God. Uh, it's okay. Just, just take a breath. One, what? two, three, four. Count while you breathe. I've, I've heard that's good for people who are panicking. She takes off her shoe and throws it at him. <laughs> <laughs> Roll attack for me. <laughs> Oh my god. Being told to calm down. <laughs> it's a nine on the dice. <laughs> you you throw it at him and it just kind of hits the carriage next to him. <laughs> and he's like he catches it and tentatively gives it back to you. He puts it back on. They've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a new habit of hers. I was gonna say this is a like oh shit, you really are Yenna. <laughs> Yeah, it's you. Um, and she's just like, oh my god. It, okay. You're... You're not gonna tell them 
that we were engaged. That's that's not a thing you're going to tell anybody. Okay, all right. That's not a thing I'm going to tell anybody. Got cool, it, because I don't... Yeah, exactly. Um, because we're... We're not dealing with that right now. Um, okay, so... Definitely how, not dealing with it. That is all. Why are you here one. besides... How did you get here? Uh, a boat. Like, you... You... A boat. Sailed over here... Mm-hmm. To find me. Pretty much. And you were in yeah. the ambassador's office? For this reason? Maybe, maybe not, like, the sole reason. Right, yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, there's a receptionist you can very easily just bully for information. That seems mean. Yes, maybe. Authoritative. She's No, she's probably not paid enough for that. Just, just saying. That is literally not my problem. Okay, alright, fair. But you could also just ask and be like, hey, where does this this person go to school? Oh, I know I where know. you go to school. I was planning to go there. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. That's, no, that's not, I don't mean to be creepy, I just... It's not exactly quiet that you were shipped off to the Lyceum. Yeah, I know. That's why it's like there, there's like a one million easier ways to have done this versus like I sailed across an ocean and then rifled around in an ambassador's office. See, I feel like you're conflating two events there that really aren't connected. Yeah, I mm. He kind of like bumps his foot against yours and it's just like, I missed you. She crinkles her nose and she's just like I missed you too but what else is going on? I feel like any more problems and uh, I like my head not caved in What? <laughs> what did you do? Technically nothing yet. What were you going to do? Well, in order to get... Okay. In order to get a pass, to get on the ship, to come here, to find you, I had to promise the family something in return. And considering that the Lyceum of Karnak is studying a certain kind of artificing that is different to ours, I thought that maybe I could, like, do some digging. But also, while doing some digging, Ambassador Day. <sighs> I mean, obviously, but... Uh, okay. And she just, like, head in hands, and then, releasing head in hands, just starts screaming. Like, just absolutely max volume, shrieking, and just venting. No, don't scream! Angry. Don't scream! It's okay. Yeah. Mm. 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 Okay. 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 You're screaming, and something else in your bag is screaming. Yeah, I have to go deal with that, which is why you have to come with me, <laughs> which is not ideal. Anyways, as far as the artificer shit, you know what you could have mm -hmm. done? That would have been way less fucking ridiculous. Like, you could have just, like, Enrolled. wrote me a letter. So you don't like or the you... rolling plan? Oh, hmm. I mean, uh, no, I don't hate that. It's just more like, d like, I have a hookup. It would have been f fine. Yana, I have written you letters. What? For a year. What? This is what I'm saying, Yana. You just disappeared. I tried to write you. I got nothing back. Your family wouldn't give us any sort of answers. What was I supposed to do? Uh... Apparently, get into a very conflated roundabout plot to um, try and figure out artificing and find out that our ambassador is a little bit dirty on the side. But...
I wouldn't have come without cause. Uh, he just kind of shrugs and like slouches more in his chair. Yana is like shrinking into herself. Like she's just like a little overwhelmed. Clearly doesn't understand exactly what's happening in terms of like this guy made a, a did a lot and it's just like what the fuck is happening? <laughs> so she's just like kind of scrunched in and it's just look, like look, it's okay. We don't have to worry about any of this right now. And look, regardless of where our arrangement sits, you're my friend. First and foremost, right? Yeah. Good. Um, okay. Well, cool. So all of this back burner. We don't have to we don't have to worry about it. Let's worry about the screaming thing in your pocket. Uh yeah, okay. Just, just like Turning purple. <laughs> and see, I'm not yeah. Am I? Uh, it, mm, it's been a really, really bad three days. Can I? Can I cast something? Uh, what are you going to cast? Just calm emotions. Yeah, okay. Thank God. And you see, he pulls out a series of interconnecting discs and he gives the little device to you and he's like, just just spin the top disc. <laughs> She's going to, like, flick it. <laughs> and as it spins, it lights up with weave and magic <laughs> uh -huh. and casts calm emotions. He gave her a fidget spinner amazing. <laughs> I was about to say, I can't believe he gave her a magic fidget spinner of calm emotions yeah. in, this, in this trying moment. <laughs> wow. Okay. And uh, with the fidget spinner of calm emotions, we are going to take a short break. Oh my god. Ah! Of course we are. Oh my <laughs> god. It's so cute. Oh, we've just been silently dying in the group chat. Yeah, Nick and I have been fucking screaming <laughs> in boy or group chat right now. Yeah. This person, there's, there's only one type of person that could <laughs> like Yenna this much. <laughs> People that are calmer <laughs> than her and much kinder. Thank you all so much for watching the first half. We will head off for a little while. Uh, get up, stretch, have a drink. We'll be back soon. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Hello, we're back. We're back. Hi. We're back. <laughs> Welcome to part two. We left you before the break with the revelation that Yun Wu, Yana's betrothed, had been the person that Yana had panically locked in a room and tried to tell the guard wasn't there. And oh, it was great. They're in a carriage having an emotional crisis. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> But as we go back into part two of Hellions of Karnak, Monty, yes. you step through the door. Mm -hmm. And it feels like stepping through a wall of ice. All heat seeps away. And you find yourself on one of the many rooftops and platforms of Babel, the world beyond the mirrors. There's the whistle of wind ah. in your ears, and you can see far off lights in the distance. The platforms around you move softly, and the world itself is seeped of all color. This isn't the babble of the dream. This is definitely the babble that you've been to before. That I was dead in, and I didn't That you notice. were dead in, yeah. Do I recognize it as yeah. babble? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's very easy to. There are certain points of um, reference that you can quite easily make out now that you've seen the city hall. Uh, 
I'm gonna do I do I see anyone in Babel? Roll me a perception check. That is a fourteen. With a 14, you can see some figures on a far-off rooftop that could be people. Um, I am going to... Do I see a way to get to them? Roll me survival. Oh, dear. I got a six. With a six? No, you cannot pick out a path that leads directly to them. All right. Um, so I can't see a path that leads to them, but I'm going to do my absolute damnedest to try and get to them through like marking like keeping a note in my head where where they are and then like trying to go from building to building um as quietly okay. as possible roll roll for parkour give me give me an acrobatics because the first thing that you're going to have to do is get to the next building and i did much better this time than the last time you had me roll for parkour I got a dirty 20. With a dirty 20, you manage to leap the gap quite simply. Almost as though the falling from last time has definitely impressed it upon your body, at least, that you should never fall again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, this isn't even the time that I, that I fell and like nearly broke bones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you manage to land on the other side quite easily. Mm -hmm. Roll me another survival check to see if you can find another way around from here. Uh, that is a nat 20. So the total is... I can't spell survival. Uh, so the total is a 22. The 22, that one, that was correct, right? Yeah. Okay. With a 22, you can see from here, a bit easier than you could from the last building, that there are a couple of platforms to your left that lead directly to that building that appears to have the figures on. Cool. I'm going to uh, try and stealthily go like follow like follow those platforms okay i want you to roll me another parkour that's a 13 yeah with a 13 you can make it across both of the platforms <clears throat> You do not fumble. It's not the most graceful crossing you've ever had, but you don't fall, and that's the important part. <laughs> On getting to the building that was your goal, you see that the figures that you thought you saw were actually statues. Okay. What are they statues of? They appear to be five robed figures exactly the same each one with a mask made of bronze and the masks made of bronze they aren't the same as the masks that you've seen the aspects wearing they aren't like heavily made of gold they aren't skulls they are closer to uh theatrical masks in that they are smooth with no plain features on their faces
So are all the masks identical then? Yes, they are. Um, would you say that they look like Hunter's mask in uh, the Owl House? Yeah, actually, pretty similar. Okay, cool. They do not have eyes, though. At all. They are just planable features. Alrighty. I'm going to... Um... Uh, are they all like about the same height too? Like, like the statues are just identical. The statues appear to be identical. Yes, wearing identical okay. robes. If you want to tell anything more about it, you can roll a perception check or an investigation check. Discuss. My dice got stuck in between the uh, in the binding of my book, so it was like stuck between a couple different things. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. So what was it? It was a perception or investigation? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm doing investigation because I got um uh, I got better score in that. So um, that is I need some math. That's a 22. A 22. <laughs> For an investigation, that is that is what you rolled, correct? Yes. Okay. Sorry, you, you, you're cutting out for me just a little bit on certain words. Oh, oh sorry. Um, I, I've also been just like pausing as I've been trying to do math. Um, yeah, no, that's no, investigation. That's, that's totally yeah, for an investigation check, what exactly are you looking for? Um... So I am, I'm looking at these map, like at these sort of the way that the figures are set up, like it's, uh, they sort of remind me of the masks in the, um, doppelgangers, uh, place. And, um, so I'm... I'm, I want to look more closely and like see if I can like take the ma take a mask off, off one of that juice and like sort of look at things a bit more closely and and that and all that. Okay. The masks on the statues, roll me a history check first. Because that is that is specifically history. And then I'll give you the information from your investigation. That's a 23. Okay, with a 23, yes, these are very reminiscent of the masks that you had found um, when you were facing off against the doppelgangers in a room long abandoned underneath the school. You had found four golden masks. That again were featureless. As you investigate the statues, you find that the main part of them are all carved from smooth rock, and that as your fingers go to dig into the seam between the rock and the stone, you get to pull them away just a little bit, enough to see that there are faces underneath before a hand on your shoulder stops you. Um, I'm going to freeze up and slowly turn around to see who's grabbed my shoulder. The first thing you notice is that the hand on your shoulder is almost skeletal, with each finger tipped in claws. And the further you turn around, you see before you the aspect of the cat, the one who had given you the crystal skull to get in contact. And while you can't see much of the face underneath the skull mask, this is the closest you have been to this aspect before. 
I would not do that, friend. Um, Lonely one, you called, I came. Lonely one? You are the lonely one, are you not? I don't, I don't know what you mean. He waves a hand through the air, walking away from you. It matters not, your other. My friend, the true friend, the one who claimed himself so. He did not call me. Instead, he sends you. Xanth? Yes. I... Xanth didn't know I was calling. I... I... Then why have was... you called? I was curious. I... What... I, I, I wanted to know... Who you are, what this place is, and... I... You ask many questions, and none of them have any bearing. You claimed not to be friend. I... You push. I never... I do not like it. I'm sorry. I don't know how to be friends. That much, it feels, is clear. And you see that the cat figure crosses their arms. You get the impression that it's looking at you disapprovingly. And Monty's sort of like, like hanging his, his head. He's very much just like not sure. He doesn't know what's going on, but he does not. He knows that there's, he, he, this, this, because I, I teased Xanth in front of you. Such discord is unbecoming. It's something friends do. It's it's something that that Xanth and I do. We're we're best friends, I think. And yet you tease each other so it smacks it's... of weakness. And yet you call me here and you invade Babel and you try to disturb the creators. I, I'm just cu curious. This land is quiet. It is filled only with the dead. Your curiosity would wake them and then they would be mad. No one wants that. I, I was, I was, I was dead here. Once. Once past, once to come. It is all the same here. This... Why have you come without the others? We gave you the stones for emergency. And you come I... because of curiosity? I... I... I didn't know it was for emergency. I... I wanted to try and help. I wanted to, to, to see what I could do, but clearly I'm no good at it. Um, and you have not even asked me one question, one proper thing. I've, what is a proper question? We would hope by now that you would all know. You have had days. Been a cat for most of them. That's just a, You see a, a slow a... grin kind of spreads on the face beneath the mask and goes, an acceptable state. You, this, I can't say, <laughs> um, I, It, it was a good state. I don't know why I was a cat. I don't... 
I don't think that has anything to do with with this place or, or anything. I don't know if that's a a question worth worth asking or a question you can answer. I I'm very I'm, I'm sorry for for. And he just sort of, he gestures at himself um, that I don't know the right questions to ask, that I came here alone, and that I'm not Xanth. Mm. You speak a lot and say very little. True. Economy of words. Monty is clearly trying to select his words carefully. And so he's just sort of pausing and like talking to himself as he's trying to figure out what he wants to ask. The... The creators... Yes? Did they make this... They made this place, yes? That's why we call them the creators. Who are they? Who were they? There's a long, there's a long pause, and then the cat kind of just looks at you and goes, "The creators." Do you have? Are there stories about the creators? Yes. May I hear one? I am not very good at stories. Viper is better at stories. I can't do the voices. Doesn't matter. I... I would like to hear it even without the voices. The first creator opened the world and brought with them the weave. And on the weave they brought destruction. And this place that meets all other places was trapped between all of that destruction. Human likes to say like a sandwich, but I don't know what a sandwich is. It's... Would you like to know what a sandwich is? I would! So... What's a sandwich? It's, it's um, an, a way to eat the meal easily. So you have two slices of bread, and then you put things on top of one slice of bread. So these are like meat or cheese and vegetables or fish. Um, and... And then you put the other slice of bread on top of it. And you that's see, every time you say, every time you say a thing, the the cat kind of raises its hand as if to interrupt, and then drops it, and then to interrupt, and then drops it. And oh. once you've finished, it's just like, what is bread? What is meat? What is cheese? What is fish? Oh. And it's now very close to you. You're like two inches away from this this construct's face. Um. So, uh, I'm going to... <laughs> We've established that I carry carrots with me. We have, yes. Monty has pocket carrots. This is a well-established <laughs> fact and continuity. Uh, would I also... Would it be uh, within... I think it would be within character that he has other snacks on him as well. <laughs> If Monty has other snacks on him as well, it would only be things that he's had access to at the hotel, which would be ice cream or breakfast foods. 
Okay. Well, it's not ice cream because he doesn't have ice cream in his pockets, but he's he's gonna take out some of the breakfast foods. Cause I think he he would have a couple slices of toast. I think. Uh, pocket toast. Po pocket toast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's wrapped Forgive it in a. He's wrapped it in 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 like in in, in something like in a, a napkin like. It's not just I'm, toast sitting in a linty pocket, like... I'm still just <laughs> imagining toast just sitting in a linty pocket. <laughs> Anyways, so Monty pulls out... Pulls out the, uh, the toast, um... And unwraps the... From the... From, from the, uh, uh, the napkin that they're in. And, and goes, okay. This is... This is bread. Um, this is bread that, that heat has been applied to, so it's crunchy. Um, and then he digs out his pocket. <laughs> he, he takes out the bag of carrots, because he also does not keep carrots loose in his pocket. That is gross. Um, he may be a teenage boy, but he's not that gross. Um, and he says, um, these are, these are carrots. These are, these are food. Um, they don't normally go on bread, but, and so he just sort of takes the carrot and like, takes carrots and like puts them on the, the, the piece of, of toast and then puts the second piece of toast on top and goes, this, this, this is sandwich. Is it for me? Uh, if you would like it, you may have it. I don't you know. You've never known is. somebody yeah. take something from you as fast as this thing takes it from you. I don't know if it tastes good, but toast and carrots are good on their own. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't be good as a sandwich. And you you eat them, and one one the 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 three layers together, you you eat it. What is eat? Uh, oh my. Do you not eat here? Do you just, do you need, do you need to get, how do you get sustenance? Sustenance. Do you ever are, need to? We are the beginning and end of all things. We are order. We are chaos. We are sustenance um, it keeps you going so you don't starve so you don't die um i i'm mortal if i don't eat and he so he he takes one of the other one of the carrots that did not go into the sandwich and takes a bite out of it and was like this like this is eating and chews and swallows the carrot and was like it's like this this provides nutrients this tastes good what happens if I, you don't eat um i die and very hastily, the sandwich is pushed back into your hands, and the cat aspect is going, eat, eat, uh, eat, okay. eat quickly. Okay. If you do not eat quickly, a true friend will be very sad. Eat, eat, we wish you not to die. I, I Okay, I won't die right now. I had breakfast before, beforehand, like it's, I, I, I it's, it's if you don't eat for a long period of time. Um, eat, eat. I okay. will not be the reason that second friend is not there for true friend. Eat. Okay. And so Monty eats the eats the sandwich. Uh, and this world was like a sandwich of destruction, with the other worlds that border it. And this world is all that is ever left. And he nods as if satisfied that he's answered your question. 
and your request for a story. And then seems to remember, oh, stories have endings. When the creators came forth and the one who released the weave unto the world was captured by the other four, together as a five, they created the borders of this world that it may be its own again. This this place is beginning and end and eternal and unchanging. That's what I've been saying. You have been. I I understand. The the cat figure in front of you beams. If it had ears to smile from, it would be from ear to ear. It is a very unsettling expression. <laughs> With all those eyes. <laughs> I I am your and and I am your friend. Second friend. Yes. Second friend. I am still not sure you are true friend, but you are second friend. I can, I can work with second friend. It friend. nods and then turns as if you can't hear it because it's turned away and goes, I have two friends. Oh. And then it turns back to you. <laughs> Why is God so adorable? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Holy shit. We gotta be real nice to him. I oh, I God. love this fucker. <laughs> He's so weird. I love him. <sighs> I want to give him like an actual good sandwich. I know. Get <laughs> tuna or something like that. Oh, mm -hmm. I bet they'd love tuna. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> if you want the true answers to your questions. You all uh, yes. must come here again. I I will bring I will bring everyone. Bring them all. Um I will. I'll bring them all. Thank you. Thank you. He friend. nods. Do you, friend. do you have a name? What is a name? Um it's like it's like a title um, that we call each other. So. I am Aspect of Cat. That is my title. They call me Aspect of Cat. Aspect of Cat. Um. Well, the true friend is we call him Xanth, and I'm called Monty. I know. Oh, um, bring them was... all here. Bring each one. I will. I will. It was bringing friend Zanth, friend Monty. And I'll bring the others as well. Thank you, friend Aspect of Cat. And it gives you that same unnerving smile again. And Monty smiles back. Because it might be unnerving, but he he gets the idea that the cat is like trying to actually should I should I roll to see if this is an attempt for the cat to be like reassuring and friendly? Go <laughs> for it if you want to roll an insight. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, insight, and that is a nineteen. From what you can figure of reading the facial expressions of beings that may or may not be mortal sure why not okay that seems fair um i to, to bring everyone here before i go we all need to make our own doors as as i did 
no. And you see that uh, Aspect of Cat cracks his heel against the floor and suddenly all of the floating platforms that have been drifting through the air snap together to make a bridge to your door. Just the one then. Thank you, Aspect of Cat. Thank you, friend Monty. Second friend Monty. And it gives and... you a bow low enough that the coins dangling from its like from its face hit the ground. Yeah, Monty bows back. Not not as deep because he feels like he'd probably just like land on his face if he did. Um and then turns around and scurries back to back to his his door. And as you step through the there, door, he turns he turns and waves back to back to aspect of cat. Aspect of cat is no longer there. Oh. But as you step through the door, all the stones are yelling. <laughs> Tink, Yuli, Xanth, what are you doing in your room? That's a great question. <laughs> uh, I mean, Tink's probably, uh, honestly, just been asking, like, what these are and where did we get them and why is there one for him and <laughs> and why are they screaming and <laughs> uh, he was not privy to to any of that so yep <laughs> okay you have just heard during this entire discussion uh, yena speak to you over the sending stones yeah and and we had told her to hurry back i think yep and that yenna is bringing a friend so amongst all of that that has also happened yeah yeah and, and tink was like have a good fucking reason because there's cops here <laughs> In which case, do you want to wait for Yenna, or are you doing anything beforehand? I mean... He wants... He wants to talk to Yuli and uh, fix, fix the geese, or at least try to. Which I think he has probably expressed to her over this course of period of time, but I don't know if we want to do it while these things are screaming at us. <laughs> Because I feel like that's not a great, you know, starting place. <laughs> I feel like we're not I mean, starting could, uh, in, a, in a nice... I could take them outside if you guys want. I could just take them away from the room. <laughs> I mean, as much as I would appreciate taking them away from the room, I feel like we shouldn't ignore these things that you got from some cat god. What are we supposed to do with them? I don't. I, I mean, I don't think we should just hide them in a box. No, I mean, I could just, I could just go outside, and I could just take them with me, and then you can can't hear them. There's a soft knock on the door, and then is everything all right in there? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I I see. Uh, it's just you are um, a little loud, perhaps. Oh, well, that's uh, something you'll have to deal with, I guess. <laughs> oh, uh, boom, boom. <laughs> this is just like a little pat on the door. <laughs> we gotta, you gotta work on your fucking attitude someday, okay? We gotta talk about this later. <laughs> what, 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 what do you want me to do? Oh, come in. Yeah, sounds great. We're not trying to no, hide secrets in here. Everyone you've been talking to, you just there's a little bit of stink on your voice. Every single person. I think... Maybe you should just be a little bit more aware of it sometimes. <laughs> I think he just kind of gives Xanth a look. Like, he's still sitting over here like, my boyfriend just died. <laughs> <laughs> so he just, like, gives Xanth a look. Like, yeah, okay. Sure. We'll be nice. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I, I can just do you want me to take them outside or do you want 
do you want to like do weird shit on them? Yuli sweats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I feel like Tink does kind of look at Yuli. Do do you want to wait? Uh, uh um oh well you know what whatever you guys think is best I I, I know this is weird so I, I mean you it's before for you think or is no. this the first I and I'm only pretty sure I can do it so I don't it's not up to us Yuli it's it's up to you it's your it's your it's your brain. It's your thing going on. We can wait until things are calmer. Um, let's do it. Let the uh, yeah. Okay. Then yeah, take those fucking things outside. <laughs> okay, I need you. to concentrate. If Sam's gonna give like the worst smile to you, Lee, it's like good luck. <laughs> Thank you. At this point, Yenna, mm -hmm. you pull into the hotel okay. with Hyunwoo right, right, right on your heels. <laughs> Fantastic. What are you doing? Are you heading straight upstairs? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I'll go to the lobby and hopefully find a Balthazar. <laughs> there is no Balthazar to be found. Where did this fucker go? Where did this fucker go? Okay. It has been uh, yeah. hours. <laughs> we leave him alone for like one hour. Roll perception. Okay. What, Yenna or all of us? Just Yenna. Uh, Eleven. That's all you needed. You do oh, cool. see a small round uh, gadget sitting towards the side of the lobby as though it's just been carelessly tossed there and you vaguely recognize it from the time that you've spent around Balthazar as being one of the gadgets that he uses for spells okay um, and it looks like it's just, it, is it like on the floor or is it like on the table? It's it's on the floor. It's on the floor. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Um, this is like a spell focus sort of thing. Like I, I would know. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Oh, fuck. Okay. And she just sort of like will grow, run over and grab it and look around again, like with even more intensity now going like, oh no. Why is this on the Roll floor? Roll me perception or investigation. If there's something in particular that you're looking for. Roll investigation. Uh, I am very, very specifically looking for um, <clears throat> any sign of battle. Okay. So, uh, I, I guess investigation for that. Mm -hmm. uh, 21. With a 21, it's easy to see that there is another of those spell gadgets mm -hmm. or spell foci sitting very close to the reception desk and there is a small scorch mark around it hmm okay uh I'll tuck one in my bag go and grab the other one um is there a receptionist anywhere like no who's in here Lobby's empty. Lobby's empty. Mm hmm Okay. Great. Cool. Yeah. Um, seeing that there's no one around, I am like now just like bolting. We're getting to the room as soon as possible. And Hyunwu is again still on your heels, like, why are we running? Is is has something happened? I don't know, but maybe. I don't know. Um, my, my tutor is missing now, I think. Okay, well, uh, alright. That, that sounds bad. That does bad. sound bad. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and if, if there, is it stairs or like a lift? There's both. Okay, uh, she'll probably get into the lift, and once she's in the lift, she's going to be like, 
Balthazar into the Sending Stone. Like, she's just, like, hoping against hope that, like, he's just going to be able to respond. There is no reply. Okay. And this is, like, communal, so I assume (laughs) everyone hears? Yep. You sent it to the group chat. Cool. (laughs) Again, just like, Balthazar, where are you? Silence. Eh. Yeah. So, taking the ride up very, like, now actively, like, jittery. And we'll get into the room in that state. Just Hyunwoo is dead. just like, Hyunwoo's on your heels, just being like, it's fine. Everything will be fine. We'll just <laughs> compartmentalize. Um, the <laughs> key point here is that we're fine. We're good. <laughs> God. Just gonna look at me like, do I look fine to you? We we can hear uh, them, right? Like we can hear her. Uh, we could hear her Roll saying like, well, we could hear her asking oh, for Balthazar. Anything? Yeah, you can hear her about asking for Balthazar. Yeah. Okay. Can I see them <laughs> at this time? You yeah, can roll perception as to whether or not you can hear them. No, but I I walked out of the room, right? You I... did, but you're still in the hotel room. Yeah, oh, okay. you, you'd walked out of... We were all in Tank's bedroom. You're in the lounge now, I think is the idea. Um, okay. I would have gone far, far, far enough to, like, make the screaming sounds <laughs> not super audible, if that helps. Um, perception is a 15. I got a 15. dirty 20. You can definitely hear Yanner in the hole. Yeah, I'm gonna go up. <laughs> Wait, me or Tink? <laughs> Both of you. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go outside to the hole. Can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. Um, because we wouldn't have just been like standing stunned for the amount of time that it took Yenna and Hyunwoo to get across town in the carriage. Mm hmm. Could I have had an attempt at um at y- using the the greater restoration on Yuli? Yes, yes, I will allow that. Okay. So for the class, greater restoration. Um, what are you trying to do? He is going to try and remove. Uh, what we think is like a a geese on Yuli that is inhibiting mm-hmm. her memories and what she can tell us about what she does know. <laughs> yeah, I remember everything. It's just that if I try to talk about it, I get I take psychic damage. Okay, you do indeed. So yeah, that's uh that's what we're trying to fix. Okay. Now, Greater Restoration, does it involve any roles at all? I don't think so. I think it just works. One sec. Well, no, go back to D&D Beyond. Okay. Yeah, d- just you imbue a creature you touch with positive energy to undo a debilitating effect. Okay. Um. In which case... You had diamond dust. That was something that you had bought yes. at the component store. Yes. That will be consumed. Yes. And specifically, you are trying to attempt to lift a geese, correct? Um. So it, it's basically one curse, including the target's attunement to a cursed magic item. So. Mm-hmm. Yes, he is attempting to lift a curse. Okay. Now, for flavor, I am going to have us roll. Okay. And this is... No, you know what? I'm not going to tell you what the roll's for. We're going to roll. Cool. I want you to just roll the straight d20. Um, do I still get my... um? amorphous bonus that people are only finding out about right now <laughs> as I say it with my words. 
You do indeed get your okay. amorphous bonus that people are finding out about right now because you've mentioned it. <laughs> cool. So that's a seven. Oh. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> I'm sweating um, in real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and I would say like just for for further flavor because I feel like this is something that Yuli would notice. Um that there are no gadgets involved. Like this is not like an an artificing casting at all. Right. It's it's very uh clerical in nature and he's using um Belial's stone as the focus for the spell. Yes. Yuli would definitely and take note of that. Yeah. It is a wash of warm weave that paints you in white light. And you feel pretty good, Yuli. Probably the calmest you've felt in a while. <laughs> um, and you do feel as though something magical around you breaks. Like a chain snapping. Okay. And the magic dies away. <laughs> she like stares at Tink. Something happened. Did did it did it work? Um Abraxas. He's like watching her expectantly, looking like he's She's about wincing. to like catch her if, <laughs> if she like hurts herself. <laughs> Does anything happen, DM? Nothing happens. Her eyes well up and she pulls her glasses off and like starts wiping at her face. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I think it worked! Oh my gosh, I think it worked! Oh, okay. So what does that mean? <laughs> um, um... I saw you, I, I, I... Oh my gosh! Um, I, I saw you, I, I saw... I was, I was there the, 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 the night at, 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 at um... <sighs> There was there was a night um at Atticus house and the four of you with with um Santana you were in a room with Abraxas and Belial do, do do you do you remember this at all do you remember anything about this this is the night we forgot I, I, I don't know. Did I, I, I'm asking the DM, but I <laughs> Tink just shakes his head. Um, I was looking into Abraxas because um, I, I felt a, a pull, a pull too. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it was because of another. Um, the four of you, 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 you were, you were in a room and, and you were all frozen. It, it was like the, some sort of a spell, um, was on you and, and, um, Abraxas, Abraxas and, and Belial were talking to each other and, and they, they were, they were talking about a, a box and, and Zinnia and, um, oh, sorry, give me a second. Um. Belial was worried. He he was worried about uh, about you. I think, um, and and I think uh, had had taken a box. Uh, maybe maybe Monty had it at some point, um, but it originally belonged to Zinnia. I I I think going by their conversation, um, Abraxas had something in his hand, something something gold. And he was tapping it on you. The, 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 it, it must be why you you don't know what happened that night. It, it, it must have had something to do with that, whatever that thing was. Um, 
I'm sorry. Uh, that's 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 most of what I remember. He 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 caught me. He he saw me and 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 then I was like this. Tink's just like nodding and furiously taking notes. <laughs> I, I you're no, you're right. It must be what we no, 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 no. I'm and... sorry. I'm sorry. I part of me hoped I would never have have to tell you that because um, you know. Um. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Tink is going to look up from the notes he was making and realize that uh, Yuli needs a hug. <laughs> and that he can't just uh, logic his way out of this one. Um, and just and just pull her into a hug. She'll get pulled in. Yeah. She will she will willingly get pulled into a <laughs> hug. And then she'll and then she'll push herself away and be like, I don't need a hug, you need a hug. And then she'll, <laughs> then she'll hug you instead. <laughs> <That's so cute. laughs> Thank you. That's we 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 needed that. She'll kind of plop back down. So what do we do now? Do do we do we tell? I mean, everyone should know, right? I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know what this box is. Do do you know Do you know anything about that? I I don't know about the box, and I the others must. I was uh. He, he like makes a, a gesture with his hand before he seems to settle on dead. I was dead for a while there. And, <laughs> and uh, I, I don't oh, think I was yeah. around when that happened. Okay. Okay. It's, it's at about this point that I'm going to say Yenna gets there. Yeah. And you hear the commotion in the hallway. Like, we, we can hear Yenna. Yeah. You can hear Yenna. Xanth can hear Yenna. The stones have gotten louder. Okay. Yuli. <laughs> Yuli uh, kind of hops up. Um, um, can we... Are we... Uh, uh, what? Okay, it's just gonna leave. Go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yep, yeah, no, you're right. Uh, well, whatever that is. <laughs> um, Yuli will try to find Yana. Right. Uh, yeah. Is Yana in the room yet? Or not yep, Yenner is Yenner is in the hotel room with Hyunwoo at shoulder. Mm -hmm. Well, above shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Uh, this is this is my friend from back home. His name is Hyunwoo. He's uh, he's visiting. Hey. Visiting? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it's wonderful to meet you, and he, he gives like a little. A little very informal bow. <laughs> and Tink's what just gonna <laughs> Tink is just gonna like look <laughs> dead at Yenna and be like And this seemed like an appropriate time for a visitor? Yeah. No, it 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 uh, what, what what's important is that Yen Yenna's okay. You're okay, right? Uh maybe. I don't know. I just had to leave the embassy, uh, the consulate, on like not ideal terms. Um, my friend is an idiot, and was just in the wrong room, and some bullshit was gonna happen. So we had to leave. I need you all to roll perception. Okie dokie. Am I included in this, <laughs> or is this while I'm in? You. You are included in this. This would be just as you've come back out of the doorway. 18. Pink. 
13. Six. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyone who got above a 10. So mm -hmm. everyone but Tink. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that there is an incredibly bright light coming from outside the window that is painting the room sickly green. Oh. Can we open the windows? I don't know if we want to open the windows. Can if you want yeah, to. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe we don't open the windows. <laughs> Yuli would go to try and open the windows. As, gonna... as soon as Yuli tries oh. to open a window, I think Tink would, like, grab her wrist and be like, it's warded. It's all warded to protect us. We can't open the windows. But, but what is that? Now that we're looking out the window, can we see what it is? <laughs> Yeah. Um, you can see it as it comes through the window. Oh, good! Oh, God! Oh, that's that's promising. And the glass in the windows and the wall disintegrate, oh. and it's like a bubble of green energy that is coming towards you. Okay. <laughs> Everything uh... it touches starts to disintegrate. Can we make it? I'm. <laughs> I'm running back to to the. Uh... Uh, I, I, I'm just going, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me! You have 60 seconds to vacate the hotel room before that light will consume you. Okay. Okay, then I guess we're following Monty. And, yeah. yeah, then runs, grabs Yana's <laughs> hand, runs. <laughs> yeah. And I'm leading everyone back through the damn door. <laughs> yeah. Into Babel. Are you encouraging Hans, Fury, and Hun Hyunwu to come with you? I feel like I'm not yeah, really no. paying attention to them. I just my my concern is is my friends. Um, and if they follow, great. If they don't, Monty does not really notice. Uh, I think Tank will, if he sees them not moving, give them like a sidelong glance and just be like, "What are you waiting for?" <laughs> Yeah. You see, actually, Tink, if you look back at them, Hans has put up what appears to be some sort of magical barrier. And Fury is trying to encourage Hyunwoo to follow you guys. No, you guys follow oh. us too. This is yeah, no. You come, come, on. come on. Yeah, Yena, at least for Hyunwoo, because technically doesn't know who these other people are, would. Uh, oh, that's true. And, <laughs> yeah, would just be like. <laughs> reaching to pull him along as well as as apparently other handles him and, and Juan is just like follow me you idiots <laughs> in the moment that you watch and look back the light reaches hans oh there's nothing we could do <laughs> there's nothing that you can do and you watch as he disintegrates he just gave us this, this you just oh. gave them to us. I did. <laughs> Can't take away our toys like this. The abyss and DM takes away. What about Fury? <laughs> Fury is still encouraging Hyunwoo to the point where she has at this point tossed Hyunwoo forwards. Okay, I'm going to cast Suggestion on her. Okay, if you've got to cast it quick. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. Uh, wisdom 16 save. <laughs> okay. I'll pause the timer for this roll. Oh. That's 15. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna say follow us. Follow us. You're here right now. <laughs> and Fury and Hyunwoo both follow you through the door. Oh. Oh. Oh, great. Hold on. I have to roll wild magic. <laughs> you do have to roll wild magic. Oh, okay. oh God. You roll wild magic while everybody is consumed by the feeling of ice water being thrown over you as you step through this doorway. It and was so the... close. <laughs> <laughs> no, no wild magic? <laughs> no wild magic. Awesome. Cool. And the door opens up onto Babel. And standing in front of you is the aspect of the cat.
This where you say. Hi, friend. We're back. <laughs> I brought them with me. So you did. And yet, friend, it's happening so soon this time. What do you what mean is, it's happening it, so soon? What is happening? It's, it's, is this the end? So, oh, wait, the, the loop is ending now? It's never truly the end. What? It's a reset. It's just a beginning. Roll perception. <laughs> I got a nat 20. I threw oh, my dice oh. on the floor. <laughs> Before her, after the roll. <laughs> it, I was rolling and it disappeared. It's under my desk somewhere. This is perception. That's an eight. Oh. I got 19. At 22. Anybody who gets above a 15, you see that Fury and Hyunwoo are not with you. Oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, you oh, also we just oh. got them! I'm so mad! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to hell! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's... Oh. <laughs> Oof! What? Ah. You see the aspect of the cat in front of you, and under the aspect of the cat's cloak is cheese. Oh, Looking at you all. Go on his knees and start fucking sobbing, dude. I realize this must be hard, must be difficult, friend, true friend Xanth. What is. But, but, but why, is, is why now? Last there time are we certain had months. conditions. It changes every time. There are certain conditions that must be met. You have met them swiftly. What? 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 What conditions? Us. You have unmitigated influence upon this world you live in, and how you use it affects what happens to it. I am... I'm truly sorry that it happened so fast. Maybe it'll be better next time. But, but, but how, how do we stop it if we don't know what we're... Do you mean we caused this? Not you alone. No. The way your actions influence others lead to events which lead to other events which cascade into others and the world moves on. It didn't move on though. It's, it's gone again. You are like raindrops in a puddle. We don't have long. I had hoped that we would. Then, then what is most important for us to know? I wish I had an answer for you. But questions so broad are not my area of expertise. He turns as though to walk, stepping up a staircase that wasn't there before when you were there, Monty, that leads upwards to a set of arches. I follow. This is the beginning and the end. And though your actions have endless ripples, all things begin and end here. Yeah. 
is is there anything through the archway? Roll perception. Uh, 17. Uh, 14. Well, that's... Yeah. Oh, I got a 19! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 13 for Yana. Nineteen. As you all look at the archway, you each see something ever so slightly different. Tink, you see an alchemist's dream of a study. Yuli, you see an endless library. Yenna, you see a room full of scientific instruments and measures for the weave. Monty, you see a greenhouse filled with a multitude of plants. Xanth, you see safety. And then the world starts to break apart and fracture as the cat steps through that archway and it all comes tumbling down and that's where we're going to leave the session tonight great mm. <laughs> oh that's fine i miss okay. hyun woo i don't need to wait i miss a whole i miss hyun woo <laughs> <laughs> Look, Hyun Woo is still around, okay? Next loop. You can still uh -huh. find him. Uh-huh. <laughs> I miss him. When will, when will Hyun Woo be back? <laughs> just instantly. I just mean, like, you can just instantly go try to find him. <laughs> 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 the yeah. We have so many NPCs to pick up now. Like, this is... <laughs> we need we need to, to be focused. God. Ugh. Are we still live? Yeah, still we're live. still live. Okay, we are still live. Thank, thank you, live. everyone. Thank you. Um, yeah. To our new follows and for our our little cheers and inspirations and stuff through the session, y'all are great, been fantastic. Yeah, thank you so much. If you like what us. you watched tonight, uh, definitely please consider giving us a follow so that you can catch us when we stream next Monday. Um. Or the next, as the case may be. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see next we'll Monday. See. We'll see. We'll see. Keep uh, keep your eyes peeled on okay, our Twitter because okay, okay. we might we might end up having a small cancellation. But um, no, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, please consider giving us a follow here and over at Twitter. And um, we also have a Discord that you guys can join if you would like to talk about the game amongst each other or to us. And we have a Patreon as well, if you would like to support us. Patrons have made this game possible. Uh, all of the artwork that you see in it, uh, the maps, the backgrounds, <laughs> the NPCs, <laughs> all of that is possible because of Patreon. So thank you guys who are already supporters. And if you want to check it out, it has tons of like behind the scenes content, homebrew stuff. Um, we have like little scenes that we write that are kind of off camera scenes that are pretty cool. Um, and yeah, we also have other shows that you should definitely check out. Um, the next of which will be tomorrow night, which is Sleepless. Yep, Sleepless Nights. Yeah, night. which Danny is also in. in. Yes, I play Gigi over there. Um, I keep saying this, that we are in the progress of ending our case and then more stuff happens. Um, <laughs> and then uh, we've had some cancellations as well, but everything going well. We should be playing tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time-ish. And you should also check out our Thursday night game, which is Reckoning and Dawn Shadow, which is uh, fairly new. I believe there are only four or five sessions in. I think so. Remember. I think that sounds I, right. Yeah. Would <laughs> it's it's great. It's 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 pretty it's pretty hecking good, um, and follows a Asian post-colonial fantasy world, which is 
absolutely uh, enthralling as things stand, and I would die for Bayani. An <laughs> <laughs> appropriate response. <Yeah. laughs> but yeah, check it out. It's fantastic. Um, and we will see you guys next week. Thank you, Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye.